Every summer, Dollar Tree brings these garden fences, which are great for your garden, but I love using them for my crafts. I had this one left over from a previous project that I did. I'm going to remove that excess panel and just keep two of them. On my last video, I created a little chair, a decorative chair that you can use for your decor. This one, I am going to show you how to make a cute little decorative bench. I used my wire cutters and my blade knife to remove any excess from the side and make it as smooth as possible. This piece of 1x4 is a scrap piece that I had. I cut it to the same size as the actual fence. So use whatever you have in hand. You can also use Dollar Tree panels. Anything you have would work. I'm going to dry fit it where I want to place it and I'm going to make a few marks just to know where I am going to drill a few holes because we do have to attach it. I will use my Ryobi drill to make the holes. Just make sure that you are using a drill bit that is large enough to fit the zip tie that you're going to be using for this project. Once I had the four holes made, I'm just going to lightly sand with my sanding block. Now this piece of wood already had the stain from what I used it before, but you can paint it or stain it in whatever color you want. I'm going to first hot glue it to the fence and then we are going to add zip ties as I mentioned earlier, four of them. And I'm going to make sure that the little sticky part like the excess part is going to be facing downwards and then I'm going to use my wire cutter to remove the excess. Now we have somewhat of a bench, but we need a couple extra legs. So I'm going to remove the stakes from some excess fences and I'm just going to dry fit it right next to that other one. That way I know exactly the size that I need and use my wire cutters to cut it and then use that one to create a second one. And this is what we're going to hot glue to the front of the bench. Again, this is decorative. This is not to place anything heavy on. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue, reinforcing with extra hot glue in the front, the back and the sides. A little bit clean though because I don't want to see all that excess glue but just looking at it. So I'm just going to do that and then hold it in place until it hardens and it does take a few seconds but it's okay. Now for the chair that I created in my previous project I added a little bundle of flowers. For this one I want to keep it greenery. I want to keep it simple. So I'm just going to use these eucalyptic picks. I'm just going to make little bundles just two of them. Secure it with some jute string at the bottom and then we are going to make a second one because I want to place one on each side. Again, I don't want to place anything heavy on this bench. I just want to add some greenery, texture, color, just make it look nice and pretty. So I'm just going to hot glue one to each side. This is completely optional. You can do whatever you want. Paint it in whatever color you want. I happen to love, love, love the way this one turned out. The colors, the size, so cute. But I'd love to know what you think of this one. Let me know down in the comments. For this next Dollar Tree DIY craft, we are going to remove two panels, the outside panels from this full set. Again, I'm going to use my wire cutters and my blade knife to make sure that they are removed as well as smooth. Now, when you are using your blade knife, please be very careful. And when you are slicing, just slice outwards, not towards you. Okay, just be very careful. And of course, use any gloves if you need that. All right, this bee themed home sign is from Dollar Tree. I removed that jute string and I'm going to carefully remove the bee because we are going to use that in the next project. I am going to sand down the surface. This is just going to remove any excess paper and roughen up that surface, the sheen, because we want to paint this. I'm going to wipe it really well. That way we're not painting over any dust. I'm going to take one of the panels and just kind of dry fit it to the side. I am going to make sure that the top of the sign aligns with that little tip right there. Not the top of the fence, but the little tip, and that way it's gonna stick up a little bit, just a little bit. All right, so now we are going to mark and use my ruler to make a, a line, do the same thing on the other side, and then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna cut this board. I haven't used this technique in so long, but if you've been following me for a while, you know the technique that you wanna score, snap, and sand. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna score it a few times right down that line we drew. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And then you just want to snap it until it comes off. Now, there's going to be some excess board. That's okay. We are going to continually clean that up with the blade knife and then as well with my sanding block just to make it nice and smooth. If you have a miter saw, go ahead and use that. I just thought I'd show you these boards are very, very good for crafting and using this technique makes it very easy. I'm going to drill a few holes just to kind of add 
Uh, there was one already on each board. We're just going to add three more because we do need them to be able to attach the fences to it. So I'm going to add holes and then we are going to just slightly sand them just to remove any excess board or splinters that it may have. Dust it really well and then we're going to give it a couple of coats of Waverly Chalk Paint in the white. I'm going to do the front and the back because you are going to be seeing both sides. Now that they are dry, it is time to put everything together. We're going to use them zip types from Dollar Tree as well. And I think you know where we're going with this, right? We're just going to attach them, creating a box. This is going to be a decorative box. It can also be used as a lantern, as a basket that you can put florals in. And I'm going to show you how I styled this one. But first, we are going to attach them again with the zip ties, making sure that the little prickly part ends towards the inside of the box and not the outside. And we're going to add one board at a time. And then we're going to add the other one on the other side once that one is attached. All right, Dollar Tree carries these wall decals, which I love to use for crafting. I had this one left over. It has some peonies. Love the color, and I love that they are just peel and stick. How easy is that? I'm going to add two of them on each side. They're going to overlap the edge, but we're going to remove that using my blade knife. I just thought it needed a little bit of a... I don't know, color. Now, if you're going to put flowers in the box, you don't need to do this. You can leave it as is. You can use maybe a stencil, maybe paint it a different color, whatever you want. But for me, I'm going to use it as a kind of like a decorative candle holder. You're going to see. And I just wanted to add a little bit of pop of color on the sides. Flip it over. Again, remove the excess. Now, I am going to touch up the paint just on the edges because I realized it was kind of not painted. <laughs> so once it was done, look how pretty. These are some faux candors that I get on Amazon and I added some faux boxwood. But love the way this turned out. Let me know what you think of this one. For this next Dollar Tree DIY craft, we are going to take another set of the fence and we are going to cut up the stake and cut up two of the panels. Again, I am using my wire cutter as well as my blade knife to smooth it out. And again, be very careful and slice it going outwards. These 11 by 14 canvases are flat. They're from Dollar Tree and I love the size of them. I'm going to use one of them, remove everything from it. I'm not even going to paint it, but you can if you want. I'm going to hot glue the fence towards the bottom. It really matches the size almost perfectly. And I'm just going to add hot glue and just set it right there. Oh boy, did it stick really good. I'm going to reinforce it just a little bit on the top. And then we're going to start adding some florals. I want this to look like a garden picture, but I don't want to see all the stems. So I'm just going to remove the actual flowers and all the leaves. And we're just going to start hot gluing them on the top of the fences. This is just going to make it look like a nice garden without seeing all the stems on the bottom. All right, this is looking so beautiful. And remember, you can use any color combination you want. Here's that little bee we removed earlier. We're just gonna hot glue her right there. How stinking cute. I love the way this one turned out. The colors are so subtle, but yet very summery. I would love to know what you think of this one. Let me know down in the comments. For this next Dollar Tree DIY craft, I gotta tell you, I think this one's my favorite. We're gonna use the scrap pieces that we had left over from all the other projects. I always kept them because I just felt like that's such a beautiful design. So I'm just gonna start removing excess fence here and there with my wire cutter. And I'm just gonna remove four of these center pieces. And I'm just gonna keep trimming until all four of them are almost exact in size. Of course, don't look for perfection, but just look as close as possible to each size. And then of course you can use your blade knife, whatever you want. Once I had the four pieces nicely cut, we are going to join two of them using hot glue and we're just gonna join them just like this. And we're gonna do the same thing to the other set. We're creating a nice wall decor with a beautiful design. I can't wait to show you. All right, we're gonna crisscross it just like a cross. We're gonna add hot glue as needed, just a little bit here and there, reinforcing it. But we're also going to use in zip ties because 
I just love those zip ties. It really makes them hold and make them very sturdy. I'm going to add two of them, but you can add as many as you want. It is a light piece, so two of them was perfect for me. I'm going to add half of this foam ball from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to hot glue it right there. Then I'm going to poke a couple of holes. Just be careful. Don't poke your hand, of course. And then we're going to thread a zip tie right through that, and we're just going to tie it in the back. This is just, again, make it very secure. Once it was attached, I'm going to add some reindeer moss around the foam. And this is just what I had on hand. But if you don't have moss, you can just use ribbon as well. I'm going to hot glue it again just to cover the white foam, just in case you'll be able to see through the sides. Once the sides were completely covered, then it's time to add some faux boxwood. These are just some pieces that I had. I get these on Amazon, but you can use whatever greenery or florals you want from Dollar Tree. I'm going to do the same thing all around. I'm going to add two in between each of the fence sections. And then we're going to add a bright color flower right smack down in the center. This is a potted one that you can find at Dollar Tree. We're going to remove the pot and we're also going to remove that thick stem. Take the leaves and I'm just going to add them right there behind the flower. Just stick them right there. Then with my hot glue gun, I'm going to poke a hole in the center of the foam, add glue, and then add the flower. You can fluff and arrange as needed. And I just felt like it needed a couple more leaves. So I'm going to take these bright green leaves. I'm going to poke a hole on each side. And I'm just going to add a little glue. And we're just going to add it. This is going to be on the opposite side as the leaves from the flower. This just added fullness, a pop of color. And I honestly think that it brought everything together. Oh my word. You know what I love most? I love the simplicity, the colors love this one what do you think let me know down in the comments friends i have another video here for you with tons more of dollar tree diy crafts inspiration check it out i'll see you later and have a blessed day bye